welcome to what I promise is the ultimate Lightroom Masterclass. What's up guys, my name is Pai. I am a portrait and wedding photographer as well as an online educator. I think a lot of photographers still use Lightroom as an organizing tool and maybe they do their basic color grading there, but they're doing most of the heavy lifting in Photoshop. I feel like they're missing the boat because most of it can be done inside of Lightroom in a fraction of the time. With exposure and white balance and everything set identically, and we've even removed the same object from the background, I can go from the before to that after image and you can see exactly what we did. That is absolutely wild. When other photographers see my work, they often assume that I'm spending a good amount of time in Photoshop. And usually each of these images is taking less than 30 seconds to go from raw to the final image. I'm gonna turn this on and off. Look at how nuts this is. This is a Lightroom retouch for crying out loud. Not Photoshop, Lightroom. Now, Pi would never admit this, but he owns one of the most successful wedding photography studios on earth. His team shoots over 400 weddings every single year, and he has to get all of those photos, literally over a million photos, to look cohesive. To do that, he has come up with this editing system. In this tutorial, he's going to teach you this system. I'm also gonna take a white balance read off that white, press W to get that, and then uh, simply adjust the white balance back to get to something pleasing like this. I like that look. When I have it, I'm gonna grab the other images by pressing Shift and clicking on that set, Control Shift S or Command Shift S, and I'm gonna press Check All. And look, those five images are now what I would consider done, right? When it comes to being a wedding and portrait photographer, I wanna spend as little time in front of that computer as I need to to get the end result. For weddings, I spend less than a day to cull and edit the entire shoot for a portrait session. We're talking minutes. I mean, that's kind of crazy, right? To be able to go through those images that quickly using this workflow and to get to something final. What does it take? 10 minutes for 25 images? Not even that. You should be able to do 100 to 200 images per hour using this technique to get to final images that are ready to go. If you're like me and you've used Lightroom for many, many years, maybe 10 years, you stop looking for the new features. You kind of have your workflow already built out. Pi has really opened my eyes on what the software can do now. Well, the next thing that I want you to learn is that you can actually create one mask and then apply it to a second. Let's take a look at the before versus the after because this is just bonkers. I mean, you look at these two images, it's impossible. I mean, someone looks at this and goes, there's no way that that wasn't flashed and it wasn't Photoshopped. I might do basic edits in Lightroom, but if I needed to do something complex, like create a mask or cut something out, I'm jumping into Photoshop, I'm using the pin tool, I'm taking 20 minutes to cut something out. You don't have to do that anymore. So look, what we're gonna do is select subject. This is gonna create an automated AI mask that's going to perfectly highlight our subjects. But watch, we're gonna invert it by pressing apostrophe. What does that do? I've now selected the entire background, and you remember this technique from earlier. What we can do now is apply adjustments. I'm going to darken everything around them, which is basically just like adding flash to them, right? This is where it was, this is where it is now. Now with these AI tools and these new enhanced selection methods, we can actually use AI-based selection to create presets that will batch retouch, smooth skin and enhanced details across an entire set of images. And what we're gonna do is press replace. Okay. Notice that the couple is a bit dark on all these other images, right? Easy fix. Now you just go back to that menu, it's gonna give you the mask and you're just gonna say update. It updates the mask, you see the subjects pop again, just click update on each of these. There goes the background. Ooh. Lee, is your mind blown? <laughs> yes. Go to the next one, click update. There goes the background, click update. There's our basic retouch and dodge and burn. I do a lot of stylized portraiture and in my work, color theory is a big part of getting to that final look. I don't think a lot of us realize that inside of Lightroom, we have essentially six layers of color adjustments right there. And we can use them to create really complex color maps that fine tune and enhance the look of an image. We're going for a little bit of warmth in both the highlights and in the shadows, we're leaving midtones alone. Why? 
going back to that same principle in color grading, pulling the tones into an analogous color set, right? I'm gonna go right over to here where the skin tones are kind of falling in and look at the color on the image. It's identical to this. This tutorial is definitely made for professional photographers. Pi starts off simply, but then very quickly, he's jumping in to tools and systems and techniques that I've never seen before. When you look at these two images, a person would tend to think that the one on the left and the one on the right is the only difference is white balance, but it's not. I'm gonna show you. Out of camera, the middle shot is the same white balance as the one on the right, but look at the one on the right. It has that additional polish. Man, that looks like it came out of a magazine, but what we're talking about is color schemes. These days, it seems like everybody's trying to sell their own presets. In this tutorial, Pi is going to give you some of his favorites that he's created, but more importantly, he's going to teach you how you can create your own. The reason we put so much time and thought into this is because I want you to be able to go to any other image and apply the same preset and get to a refined image and look. And when you design this right, it doesn't even have to be in the same scene or the same shoot or anything. I can go to this image, apply the preset, and again, get to refined and awesome look with a single click. For good reason, a lot of us are kind of confused with the Lightroom ecosystem. Specifically, well, when should we be using Lightroom Classic? And what is the difference between Lightroom Cloud and all the different variations of Lightroom Cloud on mobile and iPad? In this tutorial, you're gonna not only understand those differences, we're gonna spend the bulk of our time learning inside of Lightroom Classic. Then, once you've mastered the ability to develop your images, we're gonna take your knowledge and transfer it over to the Lightroom Cloud ecosystem. And just go to Import Presets, and now choose that folder where we just dropped those presets. The difference, though, is now I can bring up my phone, go to Presets, and if you wait just a second, you'll see that it updates and it already has updated on my side where I have LRC tutorial right there and available. Now I can edit on mobile with those presets. In the course, we're actually gonna take you out for a good chunk of time right here downtown in Charleston. We're gonna shoot on the phone and I'm gonna show you how to create professional images, not only from what goes into the point of capture using just an iPhone, but we're also gonna edit those images right there on location in Lightroom Mobile. And now with that surface, check this out. So look, there's where it's wet. Watch this as it drops right in. And oh man, that is really cool. And I can click copy settings. I'm going to select, I'm even gonna select the mask too because it had a radial mask. And then after copying it, I'm gonna go back to the other image, go to those same three dots and paste it. Okay, now we get the exact same settings pasted into this image. There are a few of those settings that we do have to tweak and modify. For example, the mask is not gonna be in the right place, right? So we gotta fix the mask and do that. We had the, uh, the modern look that I gave you guys. I want you guys to apply that. I'm gonna go ahead and pull down on the exposure and guess what we get to do? We get to use that highlight right on the face to lift the face out. Are you ready to see this? I'm ready. Ooh, the lighting is amazing. Isn't that crazy? If you're on the fence about this tutorial, you're not sure if it's right for you or will you really appreciate it, go ahead and buy it. We offer a 100% money back guarantee, but I can guarantee you this tutorial is going to completely change the way you edit photos. Whether you're just getting into photography and learning Lightroom, or you've been using it your entire career, I'm gonna blow your mind. And you're gonna come out of this course creating images you didn't think possible in Lightroom before. Yeah.